for Daniel Suarez to make an upset if he can. Creeping forward on oh. his near side, Daniel Suarez, but he seemed to get bogged down in the second stage of the start. I mean, there is a dark art to mastering the launch of these rallycross cars because you're on the handbrake, flat on the accelerator, but still you, the biting point for the, for the launch to kick in. It's very difficult to get it right. And I'm not sure that he did get it completely right there. So has that handed the early advantage to Sebastian Fletcher? Throwing that car into the final left-hand turn. Suarez has the advantage, but it is only by 1.4 seconds. And he might have had the faster part of the track in this uh, opening half a kilometre. They both head then towards the far side of the stadium. And the Grand Prix cars, the Formula 1 cars, make their exit and head towards the Ferrantada when the Grand Prix is in town. Here are the race of champions. They swing back towards the main stage and round the final corner. It's going to be a bit tight, this one. No, it's not going to be tight. It's Sebastian Vettel that takes it quite commandingly as well. He really needed to do that, and he's done it. He's delivered. And what's interesting as well, talking to the drivers, because this is such a tight circuit and the barriers are quite low, it's actually quite hard to pinpoint exactly where the apex is that you're going for. And because you do drift the rallycross cars a little bit on the tarmac, um, aiming for the apex is not easy because you can't see straight down like you can in a single-seater, open-wheel, open-cockpit. Absolutely superb. I think, and perfect, these RX supercar lights. <laughs>